Ritchie got it across the line first for the United States, 41-78. Faster than qualifying. Was determined to be on that. Oh, he even gave a glance over. A little bobble on that straightaway from Gabby to Shakari. But she does, she finishes. That's what Shakari Richardson does, and that's what she did tonight. It is no secret that Shakari Richardson's journey to her Olympic debut had not been easy. So, finally competing in the biggest race of them all, and winning at two of them, no less, is more than just a dream come true for her. Instead, it is the culmination of all her hard work. As you are probably well aware, all eyes were on Shakari as she attempted to end the long wait for Americans to once again win Olympic women's 100-meter gold. However, it was St. Lucia's Julian Alfred who won gold, the first for her country, after she ran away from Richardson with startling ease, streaking across the finish line in a blazing 10.72 seconds. Richardson, on the other hand, finished second in 10.87 seconds, a terrible start that put the gold almost out of reach after the first 30 meters. She had to rely on her top-end speed in the second half of the race just to break away from the rest of the pack and salvage silver. Shortly after the race, Richardson blew past reporters and did not answer any questions. She only spoke when a reporter addressed her and mispronounced her first name. It's Shaq Harry, she said curtly. It is worth noting, though, that despite not winning gold, she still has the fastest time this year with 10.71. The American is also ahead of the St. Lucian sprinter on the world all-time list in the women's 100 meter, with a PB of 10.65 and 10.72 respectively. While this may have let her feel just a little bit better, it was still a disappointing end to her first Olympics, at least in the 100 meter. She probably took the disappointment in losing, yes, it is a silver, but still, and channeled her energy in winning her next event in Paris the women's 4 by 100 meter relay. That she did. In fact, she basically saved the team from losing, twice. When it came to the final, it was a close race, literally. But it was Team USA who took a victory in a time of 41.78. The American quartet of Melissa Jefferson, Juanisha Terry, Gabrielle Thomas, and Richardson crossed the line first in front of silver medalists, Great Britain, Dina Asher-Smith, Imani Lansiquo, Amy Hunt and Daryl Naita, who crossed the line in 41.85. Germany's Alexandra Berghardt, Lisa Mayer, Gina Luecken Kemper, and Rebecca Hassa won bronze with 41.97. It was a phenomenal feeling for all of us, a delighted Richardson said in a press conference after the race. I just remember trusting my third leg, trusting Gabby, and knowing that she's going to put this thing in my hand no matter what and to leave my best on the track. I was very comfortable with these ladies. Thomas was as pumped with the conclusion of the race. Obviously, passing the baton to Shakari is very special. She is so fast, you know we're in good hands when she gets her hand on the baton, she said. Well, to be blunt, they all have undeniable talent, but it took an immense effort from Richardson on the final leg to secure the victory. As earlier mentioned, the Dallas native had to pull through for everyone for both the events round one and final. First, Shakari had to bail the U.S. women out from a near collapse in the Olympic 4x100 meter relay, overcoming a German runner in the anchor leg to help the Americans win their heat and move to the gold medal race. Richardson was about three steps behind after receiving the baton from Gabby Thomas, who earlier nearly misconnected on her exchange with T.T. Terry. That put Richardson in a hole against Rebecca Hase. But the 100-meter silver medal winner was looking back at Hase by the finish, which was what Shakari would have wanted to happen in the first place. Then again in the final, it was Shakari who led the team to a win. Team USA's first place finish was not secured until Richardson took the baton on the final leg. The Americans had two questionable exchanges between the second and third, as well as the third and fourth legs. Fortunately for them, Shakari was more than capable of leading the team to a win. She turned in a 10.09 second split on the final leg, which was eight tenths of a second better than the time that earned her silver in the women's 100 meters. The way she looked sideways right before she crossed the finish line 
caught the attention of many. In fact, the photo became viral really quickly. The photo where Richardson confidently glances to her right en route to an Olympic gold medal in the 4x 100 meter relay. The stare down, dubbed the Shaq Harry stare, captivated the nation even more than the ensuing gold. I looked over and I just knew that no matter what was going on, there was nobody that I was going to allow, even myself, to be in front of me, Richardson said in an interview. I wasn't going to even allow myself to not cross that finish line in first place and not get that medal or to let down those ladies and the support that we received when it comes to us crossing the finish line in first place as Team USA. Although the look has been described as a glare, Richardson explained that it had more to do with her than her competitors. The look over was, it's almost like it was a mirror on that side of me, and I'm just looking at a version of myself that nobody but me could see, she was quick to explain. She further stated that she is always her biggest competitor, so she had to leave her best on the track. And so, just looking over, it was more so, showing that the hard work that all of us ladies in that 4x1 put in was not going to be in vain, she stated. Although the photo may not end up in the Louvre Museum in Paris, the masterpiece from the anchor leg will be art on her walls. I may have to put it up in my house, she said. It was important for her though, that people knew she didn't mean anything by the look. That was not a plan, that was not scripted, she claimed. I would honestly say that moment was just a full circle moment, just embracing everything, not even including what had happened in the general moment to make it on the podium, but just embracing the entire journey of being just a human and growing not even just as an athlete, but as a woman, as a spirit. With the Paris games officially over, Richardson told the outlet that this was only the beginning of her Olympic journey. There's nothing but up from here, she declared. Overall, her performance at the 2024 Paris Olympics solidified her place as a true track and field superstar. With every stride she took, she captivated audiences worldwide, but it was her breathtaking speed, poise under pressure, Dalwink, and unwavering determination that ultimately earned her the gold. It has been humbling, she reflected on her experience in Paris. It has been fun, and I cannot wait for LA. Richardson's unapologetic embracement of her identity extends beyond her athletic achievements. She has become a symbol of empowerment, encouraging women to express themselves fully, regardless of their profession. This philosophy was on full display in her carefully curated looks for the Olympics, which featured her signature bold hairstyles, striking makeup, and impeccable nails, just like the legendary Flojo, whose footsteps everyone aims to follow. Watch this to get caught up with the Paris 2024 happenings.